Well, hello, Internet, and welcome to my tutorial on how to set up Visual Studio Code for C++ as well as Arduino on Mac OS. You guys have asked me for this tutorial, and so I shall make it. As soon as I work out the bugs on how to set everything up for Windows, I will do that. But first, I'm going to cover Mac OS, and I have a lot to do, so let's get into it. Okay, so I'm going to be moving pretty quickly here, so prepare yourself to hit the pause button. Very first thing you're going to want to do is go Command and Space, and in, then you're going to type in Terminal, and we're going to set up G++. What you need to do in the terminal is just type in G++. If you get the error message that you see right here, that means it's already installed. In that situation, you can go G++ dash dash version like this, and you should see somewhere on it, something either 4.8.4 or something higher than that. If you don't see that, what you're going to do is you want to go to the App Store and you're going to download Xcode. I have update here, but you're going to have install, so click on install and install Xcode. After you do that, you're going to open up your terminal again, and you're going to type in Xcode dash select and then two more dashes and install. And what we're going to do is we're going to go and install Visual Studio Code. So you're going to go to code.visualstudio.com and just click on download for Mac. Whenever you do that, you're going to see this little guy down here pop up. And of course, you're going to click on that and then click on open. And then you're going to download Visual Studio Code and you're going to drag it into your applications folder. Then we're going to open up Visual Studio Code. And you're going to come over here on the left side of the screen where it says Extensions and click on that. Then over here you're going to see C and C++, this guy right here, and you're going to click on Install. After you have that all set up, you're going to come over here and click on Reload, and everything is going to be installed in regards to C and C++. We're then going to come in here and verify all this. And how you're going to do this is you're going to come in here and set up your settings. And you're going to come over here and click on this little widget and then click on settings. And then inside of here, you're going to be able to do things like change your font size or define new fonts or whatever you want to use. And what I do is I just copy, you know, things from here, paste them over here, and then make the changes that I would like. And I prefer to have bigger text, so I change that. And I don't like the Menlo uh, typeface, so I went and got rid of it and just put Monaco in there instead. And what you're going to do is come up here and go File and Save Workspace as. I typed in C++.tut1.code, whatever, you can name it whatever you want it to you know, be named, and then click on Save. And you're going to come over here and click on your File Explorer, and you're going to click on Add Folder. And then you're going to be able to define wherever you want your folder to be defined, and then you're going to click on Add. After that, just to verify that C++ is working, you're going to create a new file, and then you can just type in exactly what I have here on the screen and make sure it's exactly the same. Then what we're going to do is come up here and go View and Command Palette. Click on that. And then you're going to type in Tasks. And you're going to come down here and click on Configure Task. After that, it's going to give you the option of Create Task.json File from Template, and you're going to click on that. Then you're going to come down here where it says Others and click on that. Then this guy's going to pop up inside of here. Everything is perfectly fine. You don't need to make any changes. Just want to verify that everything looks basically like this and you see G++. That just means that it was able to find G++ that you installed earlier in this tutorial. Then you're going to open up Extensions again by clicking this guy right here. And you're going to type in Code with a space followed with Runner. And then you're going to click on Install. This guy's going to open up. You're going to click on Reload. Now what you're going to be able to do inside of your hello world.cpp file is just right click on your screen and run code's going to open up here and you're going to click on that and then you're going to see down here that hello world prints out. So you know that C++ is properly set up inside of Visual Studio Code. Now we're going to set up Arduino. So you're going to once again click on extensions and you're going to type in platform io ide and this guy's going to pop up. You're going to click on install. Then it's going to open up on the right side of your screen. You're going to click on reload. Then down here in the bottom of your screen, you're going to see Installing Platform IO IDE. You're going to have to sit here and wait. It might take you a minute or whatever, but you're going to have to sit and wait until it all installs. And then whenever you see it say Platform IO IDE has been successfully installed, everything's fine. So you're going to click on Reload now. And then you're going to see this guy pop up. And this is where we're going to run our, our Arduino project. So you're just going to click on New Project. And then you're going to search until you find Arduino Uno, or at least that's what I'm using. And then you're going to select the framework is also going to be Arduino. 
and then click on finish. And this guy's going to open up. You're going to have a project down here and you're going to click on open. And then you can type in exactly what I have right here. And this is just going to be a blink test. So type in everything I have there. You can click on the pause button. And your Arduino, whenever you plug it into the back of your computer, it's already going to be blinking. So you can just change the delay maybe to 500 or to 100, just so you can see that the code actually changed the Arduino. And this is going to be in your main CPP file where you're going to put this. And that is going to be located over here in the source directory. And then to upload to your Arduino, you're going to come down here and you're going to compile everything by clicking on this little check mark that's right here. And then after everything is built, you're going to click on this to upload it to the Arduino. And of course, you have to have the Arduino plugged into the back of your computer. And then you're going to notice that the blink rate has changed. So there you go. That is how we are able to set up C and C++ as well as Arduino on Visual Studio Code. Hope you guys found that useful. And like always, please leave your questions and comments below. Otherwise, till next time.